Today I'm gonna teach you how to make your reflection do something else completely. Let's call it a haunted reflection. The method I used is pretty much exactly the same as another video I made on how to clone yourself. It involves some simple opacity masking and can be done in just a few minutes. I used this effect in a feature horror film I just shot this past March and thought I'd share with you how I did it. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your camera on a tripod. Once you find your frame, make sure you do not move your camera. That's very important, otherwise this effect will not work. Now, because magic isn't real, you're gonna have to shoot two different versions of pretty much the exact same action. Your real self, and then your reflection. So let's begin by shooting my real self, version number one. In this case, I simply just enter the bathroom, check myself out for a second, ignoring the messy hair in the back. Please forgive me, I'm making this during the whole COVID-19 quarantine thing, so I haven't really been able to get a haircut in like a month. Anyway, once I'm done checking myself out, I then turn around and exit the bathroom. Then, without touching the camera, I shoot my reflection, version number two. I enter, just like before, do my best to repeat the exact same action, only this time, I continue to stare at myself like a creepy devil person, and then stare directly into the camera. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, I'm just trying to show off my acting abilities. And of course, when you shoot this, make sure there's no overlap between both versions. There should be an imaginary line right down the middle, allowing us to crop each half seamlessly. So now you have a single video clip with both versions that you can drag onto your timeline. Just to give ourselves an easier time syncing up the actions of each version, let's find the point in version number one where I first enter the bathroom. So right here my nose enters before I do because I have a big nose. And we can make a cut right there. Then let's move forward and make a cut right when I walk away and disappear. We can leave some room at the end after I'm gone completely just to fill the empty space after my real self exits the bathroom. Now let's move on to version 2. Let's make a cut right when my nose enters the frame, right there. And let's make another cut where I want the clip to end. Okay, so now we have both versions trimmed perfectly. And we can just go ahead and delete all these pieces we're not going to use. Let's select version number 1. And with that selected, we can move on up to Effect Controls, and under Opacity, let's select this Free Draw Bezier tool. We can zoom out a little here on our playback window just to make things a bit easier. 25% should be good. And with our Free Draw Bezier tool, let's create a mask around our real self, version number one. And once we connect them, you'll see we now have an empty space where our reflection will go. And we can just feather the edges a little bit, just in case there is any shadows. This will prevent any noticeable crop lines. Next, all we have to do is simply drag version number two, my reflection, directly underneath version number one. And that's about it. Assuming you successfully repeated the action the exact same way in both versions, this should look pretty seamless. Obviously, I did a kind of half-assed job, but you get the point. And of course, you can just extend the beginning of both clips just so that you can capture yourself entering the bathroom. Now, as you can see, version number two is a bit longer than version number one. And when we play this through, my real self just kind of pops on the screen. So what we can do is just grab a piece of our first clip where I'm not standing in front of the mirror and slap that right on top. What I'm doing here is just holding Option or Alt-Click to copy and paste the entire plate so that it repeats for the duration of the video. It probably would have been easier to just keep the camera running and shoot an empty plate to begin with, but whatever, this works too. Now, when I did this effect in my movie, I added a little extra something to sell the effect even more. I had our focus puller actually rack focus at the exact same moment in both versions when the actress stood up so that it looked way more realistic but I applied the same method and it came out pretty great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if there's something you wanna learn, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to make a video about it. Happy quarantine. Cinequoque.